Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Thomas Seiler, CEO of a Swiss company called Ublox. We make wireless technology. And I'm very glad to talk here about what could make a city more smart and a better life in the urban context. Of course, I was glad to see another Swiss context in the previous presentation about how to handle cow rights, but that's not what I'm going to explore on now. So uh, let us enter into the subject by a little video. So I'm traveling in Asia for quite a long time, more than 35 years I'm here, and uh, it has been quite a change. And uh, this is uh, something that I have observed. It was quite a rural situation I was in, the, in the 1982, by the way, the first time. And now, when I'm on the road, I'm basically only seeing my counterparts, my customers in mega cities and in large building parts. The, the tremendous inf infrastructure has developed here. And I really wonder how this has become possible. And as a Swiss citizen, I'm really scratching my eyes all the time, and every time I'm landing again here in a city in Asia. And I wonder what has made these cities so to evolve, and why they do attract so many people. Mega cities are a fact of today and hence also a challenge for our future. And why is this so? Because such huge cities come from a, or form a mega trend, finally. Together with other trends, they define uh, a vision for the future. And This means our world is driven by megatrends, the megatrend of urbanization, and also a trend of connectivity. Uh, all you, you have a smartphone in your pocket, no question. So when we look at urbanization, we can expect that 70% of worldwide population will live in large cities. Today, it's already about 65%, according to the UN statistics, and by 2030, we can also expect that 43 mega cities are around, a mega city being a place where there are more than 10 million people. And alone in Asia, we have such cities in a very uh, large number. I can just uh, tell you a few numbers, like uh, Mumbai in India has 21 million people, Shanghai is 35. Daily 22, Tokyo is even almost 40 million, or Seoul has seemingly some 26 million people. So really large uh, cities with so many people living here. And when we look to other numbers, the connectivity, we have today uh, more than 8 billion subscribers that have most probably a smartphone in their pocket, and perhaps there are also a few uh, machine things that connect to here. And when we uh, uh, count here a little by the regions, uh, it's 2 billion in Northeast Asia, 1.6 in China, and 1.3 in Southeast Asia. So this is a large uh, numbers game, and many, uh, uh, and the reason why we talk here of, of mega trends, that he, the inhabitants here are in cities, and finally, they are already connected. But 
has that a good effect on our living conditions? And what is here, finally, the future? What is a city? Is it uh, a futuristic urban nirvana or a polluted dystopia? Because densities are finally much too high. But we think there can be a bright future, a future of a good city, a city that could become smart and give good places to live. So such cities must go beyond isolated technological solutions and applications. They must offer holistic solutions to a variety of problems. And they will, first and foremost, make sm smart cities more sustainable. In this context, connectivity will strongly play and support a more sustainable urbanization and make cities smart. Smart here means, and probably always when we talk of smart, uh, that things are connected to the cloud and that gathered data is used for controlling and better controlling processes and finally make our life better. So how can this happen? Uh, it is about making things connected with wireless technology. There's no other way for gathering so many data and data points and gaining insight and again c control better the core processes in our cities make life better. So there's a variety of communication technologies around. They are also often discussed. You have probably also discussion heard about 5G, but there's much more for coming from satellites, coming from uh, data points in the form of Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, and they are constantly evolving. Finally, they are all helping to make the big data possible and available. But we shall know that such mega cities face specific challenges uh, and also uh, in a variety of intensity. So here in part, a few examples, we have to deal with chaotic and polluting traffic, overcrowded public transportation, lack of parking space, and so on. The utilities are challenged uh, by supplies that cannot be efficiently managed. The maintenance of infrastructure and buildings is a big challenge and a huge effort in the future. And of course, safety and security expectations are here with a higher density of population. So that are all reasons why cities have to become smarter. And fortunately, some are already on a good way to become so. Here are a few examples. For example, smart meters help to more efficiently use scarce resources like water or electric power. Or with smart buildings, we can help to save energy and still make the living condition better in these buildings. Or we can make better use of existing infrastructure like public transportation or roads by better distributing the use of it to the various inhabitants. And also, we are at the advent of more automation in the transport system down to the autonomous driven car. Or we can look at street lighting, where we can give better illumination and lighting in the night with much less energy and even give uh, smart content to that. So it's for sure, a good content for safety and security in the town. So all this is possible thanks to wireless technology, it, it is the cornerstone to solve many of the several challenges that are in a city. So thanks to that, the Internet of Things become really possible, and this is also what the promise for the future, that uh, we can better handle all the different facets and the aspects of our life and of our environment. We can optimize the flows of people, of goods, of energy, and enable uh, intelligent infrastructure and smart devices and all the use of use dig digital technologies and hold the promise to make cities a better place to live and give better comfort and well-being. So in summary, the smart city, we need intelligent systems for traffic, for the industries, for our buildings and infrastructure. And here are a few examples of what is happening in Asia. In Korea, for example, there is a corporate, corporate intelligent transport system initiative with several pilot projects going. 
and the system shall issue warnings and alerts regarding the road conditions, uh, upcoming pedestrians or an approaching ambulance, and insofar increase the uh, safety on the road and of course make traffic flow better. Here we supply uh, also technology for positioning and communication and there is a uh, 85 kilometer trial road uh, uh, here in Seoul where such experiments are made. Or we can talk uh, in Australia where intelligent parking management is installed to uh, reduce the uh, 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 flow of traffic for searching a parking place. Uh, <coughs> or the lighting infrastructure is in improved in Taiwan with uh, smart lighting uh, that is going to be deployed from the third quarter this year, or in Japan, the gas and water meters infrastructure is enhanced again here to make the supply more economic and better use of the utilities, again, thanks to wireless technology. So we could think Many problems can be solved and we are on a good way, but still there are some barriers. We should not forget that several other things must be uh, put in place that cities really become smart. It is about that the cities by themselves must have an awareness and a willingness to go for something that is called smart with technologies and of course inhabitants must accept it and embrace for uh, the required ecosystem. It is about investment readiness that the uh, infrastructure can be improved and the uh, utilities or other verticals are being fostered. Also lawmakers must be at place to define regulatory uh, and standards environments. And finally, it needs economics to speed up and scale the uh, the technology and the deployment of it. And finally, we also have to look into cybersecurity and the privacy threats that must be handled correctly uh, in all the aspects in the transport of data and in the handling of it. And of course, finally, what is also uh, making it uh, to progress here is the technology itself. The technology is making uh, large uh, steps forward still uh, in all dimensions. It is how we that we have sensors that can collect uh, events, we have technology to transport it wirelessly, and it's also how we can handle data in the cloud. We just had a discussion about artificial intelligence. All that must come together for a smart city. So we as a technology company, of course, we cannot foresee the future. Nobody has the crystal ball, but clearly, uh, and despite the mention the barriers, we are convinced that a smart city can become smart, that there is uh, the technology and the systems around to make it happening. <clears throat> and it's about uh, defining the needs, it's about finally building the solutions and go for the expectations we all have. We as industry leaders can create the solutions and often they are disruptive, they are making things that have never been possible before. And we really are convinced that the Internet of Things will here be the topic of uh, making cities better and smart, and of course, finally have an impact on our every uh, day's life. So in a nutshell, and as a summary, uh, mega cities will and have to become smart. There is probably no other way that they are sustainable for the future. Connected Activity is one of the underlying enablers because otherwise we do not know what is ongoing and what are all the information we need to make it smart. And finally, we are delighted that we as a company can help here with wireless technology to make the urban future much better. Thank you very much.